up, everybody? My name is Rasul Wright, and today I'm going to bring you along with me on a Friday in the life of a 1L at the University of Maryland School of Law. This is the first week of school, and so I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about that. And I have a packed day today, so I'm going to bring you through uh, what a typical Friday looks like for me and uh, some of the activities that I have planned for the day. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so it is like, uh, my collar, that looks weird. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It is Friday, August the 26th, like I said before. Uh, first week of law school. And I'm not going to lie, today was a pretty busy week. It was a pretty busy week. Um, it it kind of went by fast yet slow at the same time. And I say that silly because, like, the week went by fast and the day went by slow. Uh, so, basically, we had a lot of stuff to get done um, throughout the course of the day. A lot of readings to do, a lot of um, <clears throat> concepts to understand. It's just a new way and new structure of learning. Um, a lot of my friends were like really nervous because obviously, obviously, there's law school. You know, everybody there is really great. Everybody there is really smart. And uh, I got a call from a friend last night, and he was like, you know, dude, like, I can't do this. Like, I'm not good enough for this. And you know. It's real. It's real when you get to law school. And, you know, I, I talked to him. I took some time out because one thing a lot of people don't do, like they'll get so fixated and caught up in what it is that they're doing as individuals that when they see someone in need, they won't help. And I've never been that kind of person like ever my whole entire life. I, I, I've always managed and prioritized being able to get stuff done. But at the same time, if I saw people that were in need or needed my help and you know, needed some encouragement. I always, pro I always provided that for them. And so, um, I was talking to him. I told him, I said, look, man, I said, we're first generation, uh, juris doctorate candidates at this law school, man. I said, everyone else here, uh, they might be saying that they get it. They might be saying that they understand it, but nine times out of 10, a lot of them don't, they're just saying it to try to intimidate you. And then on top of that, a lot of the people, uh, who are understanding certain things and concepts, this language was exposed to them prior to. I mean, they have people in their family that might be attorneys and stuff like that. So I told him, I said, look, this is the first week. And while we're here, we represent those people who wish they could be here, but can't. You know, I know some people right now that are probably working jobs and careers where they would be the best attorney to walk the face of the earth, but they're not there because they don't have access to the means to be here. So. After I said that, you know, he was feeling really encouraged and he got through with the reading. But, you know, that five, 10 minute conversation that a lot of people would have just blown off. I saw that it changed the trajectory of his his thinking process when it came to law school. So, I mean, if that's what it takes throughout the duration of my day to, you know, make sure that uh, somebody gets the help that I need. I have no problem with with doing that at all. But, yeah, um, today I have a civil procedure at nine fifty. And then I have um, legal writing from 1230 to 230. So in law school, typically a class is like two hours. Uh, most of my professors have been giving me like a, a 10 or five minute break in between classes, which goes by lightning fast, if you can imagine. Um, in class, the time goes by fast. If you're understanding the concept, it goes by slow if you're not. So most of the time, as many of you guys know, they're probably watching this video. And law school professors do something called cold calling, right? And that's this whole concept as to where, like, they're utilizing methods from uh, Socrates, the Socratic, the Socratic method, to make sure students are understanding the concept that they're learning. So there ain't no raising your hand and saying, oh, professor, I got the answer. Even though, you know, I do that sometimes, other people do that sometimes. But if the professor feels like calling on you for the day, he'll call on you and say, hey, I mean, what is uh, subject matter or jurisdiction and uh, how does diversity matter jurisdiction uh, play into this whole aspect of subject matter jurisdiction. You know, those are some questions that he might ask you and he might ask you to refer to some cases and see how the holding in that case kind of um, correlate correlated with the rule that we have. And so those are some things that, you know, you got to be privy to. You got to stay focused to. Like I said before, it's the first week. So a lot of people kind of struggled a little bit, but it's just it's it's manageable. I mean, it's something that is expected. Aside from that, I would definitely recommend going to a law school where um, there's an, an inclusive community. And when I say that, I mean, 
sometimes people can be intimidated by uh, the supposed like gunners in the classroom. Those are the people that think they know everything, have to raise their hand and answer everything, like try to find the most uh, pronounced words that they can use to answer a question. Now, most of the time, if I'm just speaking, I'm speaking in class like it's whatever. But I like to be courteous of people who learn through active listening. And so when people are in class, you know, asking a whole bunch of questions and trying to stop a professor every five seconds, like it's annoying because you're not catering to other people's learning styles because you're interrupting their process of thinking on a particular topic because you're talking to the professor like you guys are having a one on one conversation, which is why I think, you know, professors host office hours and they do certain things like that. Uh, so that people can talk to the professor if they have more individualized questions as opposed to uh, wasting class time because people are paying a lot of money for these uh, schools and for these programs trying to be the best lawyer that they can be. So it only makes sense that they're getting the best out and the most out of the education through being able to process and learn the material. Um, and that's what's most important. But yeah, aside from that, my day is going to be pretty busy. Like I said before, uh, I've got like I said, Civ Pro from 9.50 to uh, 11.50. And I've got legal writing from 12.30 to 2.30. And after that, I'm meeting up with some friends in a library to go over the material that we learned for in uh, civil procedure for about like 40 minutes. And after that, the uh, BALSA, otherwise known as a Black Law Student Association, they're hosting a uh, kind of like a cocktail hour at this one restaurant in Baltimore. And so I'm going to go for that for maybe about like 30, 40, 40 minutes. And uh, after that, the law school got us all tickets to the Orioles game tonight. Go O's. They're having a really great season. Uh, so I'm going to go to that for a little bit. And then I'm going to head back to the library and uh, do some review for uh, legal writing, legal research, and... Uh, also take a quiz for uh civil procedure and torts and for legal writing so uh i got a pretty jam-packed day like i said before and i'm gonna try to sneak in like going to the gym and the car wash later on this evening so we'll, we'll see how that goes um but yeah i'm glad that you guys are here on this journey with me and i look forward to finishing out the rest of this video this might be a longer video just so you know because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be going on today so we'll see how it goes Alright guys, so I just uh, parked in the garage. I'm about to head to uh, the library. I got some work to do today, um, before class that is. And so I'm gonna, um, it's not a lot of work. I'm just gonna read some of my notes over for uh, civil procedure and then um, go over the syllabus once more for uh, my legal research class because that is the first day that we're having this class. On the way here, I realized that I left my ring at home. Some people would be like, yeah, it's not a big deal, but I really like my ring, but I wasn't gonna go back to get it. So yeah, let's do it. like uh 8 35 
I'm about to head to the library and get some of these review readings done. And then I'm going to head to civil procedure, which is my first class at 9.50. So at this point, I just got to the uh, library. I'm about to go through some of these readings and uh, get ready for Civ Pro. One thing's true, time definitely moves a lot faster when you're in law school. So, uh, my class starts at 9.50. It is now 9.35. I'm about to head down to the classroom, get set up a little bit, go over a couple more notes again, and then uh, start class. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys some of my classmates. They're really cool people. Uh, it's Friday, so not a lot of people on campus because... Uh, a lot of upperclassmen don't have classes on Friday, but we do. This is our first year of school, so I'm going to go and uh, do that, and I'll see you guys later on today. Our school is really highly decorated. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, we uh, win a lot of stuff, so all you guys at Howard and UB and all that other stuff looking at this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I might go out later and... Show you guys the courtyard. I have time, but here's a little view of it. Doesn't do it justice, but you know we gotta head to class and do what we need to do. So, <sighs> gotta go upstairs. Hey, Christian. Christian. Ah, he didn't see me. So my boy Christian downstairs. I know he's headed to class right now. We got the same class, so I'll see you guys there. All right. So this is my class. 302, I'm my classmates in here. Pretty dope. So we're about to get started. We got civil procedure today. It's Friday. No, you guys, you guys signed a waiver. <laughs> all right, so we're about to go into Civ Pro. Here are my guy Chris. How's it going, man? I'm all right, but I'm on call today, so we'll see how that goes. He's on call today. Hey, yo, <laughs> tell them, tell them what it means to be on call, because a lot of them probably don't even. It know. means like they're gonna put you on the spot, and like you better have done like the reading from the night before, and. Like, know what you just read. <laughs> Look, this man's prepared, man. He might have to brief three cases today. We don't know, you know. Yep. Great guy. We're about to get started in this class today, man. See you guys later. Let's do it. All right, guys. We just got finished. Civil procedure today, Friday. Here are some classmates. I'm going to have them introduce themselves and talk more about what they enjoyed from the class Hi, today. what's up? My name is Ikra. I'm from Maryland, and currently we're in fifth grade. Today, I enjoyed – wait one second. I'm blanking on what we learned. Okay. I enjoyed the company. <laughs> you enjoyed Friday. I'm Alan. I'm from Leesburg, and I love Fridays. So. Yes, sir. What's up? I'm Ben. I'm from Maryland, and looking forward to the weekend. Y'all right. already know me. Um, <laughs> I'm Christian. I'm from the uh, West Coast. The West Coast? Yeah, I, I shouldn't have had to think about that. Um, and I'm excited for... Uh, to get this year over with, man. <laughs> uh, my name is Josh. I live in Washington, D.C., and I'm excited to go to Orioles game tonight. Yeah, go Oaks. Hi, my name is Zanob. I'm from New York. Uh, I'm excited for this game tonight. Sponsored by the school. Very cool, and I can't wait for the semester to be over and to have a break. <laughs> All right, you guys heard the people. We're about to go to Starbucks right now, and then we're going to head out. I've got some cases to read uh, for this weekend, so I'll keep you guys posted with that. And, uh, yeah, we're about to head out.
So this part of the video, we went to the um, administrator office to pick up our tickets for the baseball game. Are you Malachi or Malachi's twin? All right, so I know some of you guys might have seen this coming. If you don't already know, my identical twin brother goes to the dental school right down the street, and some of the students uh, happen to see me walking around sometimes, and they think that I'm my brother when I'm actually his twin. So uh, it can get quite comical. Uh, this young lady thought I was my brother, but knew that I wasn't my brother because I was obviously not wearing uh, the uh, burgundy scrub. So uh, it was great to see them. Shout out to the dental school, uh, even though the law school is better. I always like to say Malik has a carbon copy of me, even though he's born before me. But yeah, I'm his twin brother. Yeah. I can tell all the uh, D1s by the scrubs that you guys wear. Yeah. Was my brother in class today or what? We had lab this morning, so I don't know. Maybe he'll get cell bio later. Yeah, hopefully my brother's not skipping class. Um. Anyways, onward with the video. All right, we're in Starbucks today, getting some food, and I run into some... Other people who know Malachi. So, what's your name? My name is Jolene. All right, and yours? My name is Dorsa. All right. And how are you guys doing on this Friday? It's a little hot, but it's the sun's out. It feels good. Yeah. Very much so. I'm happy it's Friday. I'm happy it's Friday too. Well, you guys continue to have a great day, and it was nice running into you all. All right. This man is about to eat an entire. What's it called? A clementine? A clementine, <laughs> a, a clementine oh, hole. So I haven't had one of these in a long time. After class right now. Yeah. I'm pretty tired. Gotta do what we gotta do. Um, yeah, the microphone picked up pretty good. Yeah. I'm trying to get famous on YouTube so I don't have to finish school. Oh my god. So at this point in the video, the chuckle that my friend Christian made literally made me about to start busting out laughing. So I stood up so that I can advert from spitting out all the contents within my mouth on my friends there. So uh, the Clementine was really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully this video goes big so that I can uh, just be like Badlands Chugs and do a whole bunch of stuff like that. So. <laughs> Did you just swallow? I thought he swallowed it. I thought I did for a second, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Why would you just swallow it? No one hears a doctor. That's actually pretty good. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> I got it spit on my glasses. I know, like, a normal person. I eat three of the time. Mmm. I'm going to eat them like that all the time now. That was really efficient. It really was. All right, so my classes are over for the day. Um, Just got out of legal research. It's our first class. We typically don't meet on Fridays, but we met this Friday because so that's what we did. Now I'm about to head to the library, get some of my readings done, and then um, I've got a BALSA, which is a Black Wall Student Association event to go to. Uh, it's about like a 15, 20 minute drive, so I'm going to drive out there, and then I'm going to uh, an O's game tonight, and I'm going to go on with the rest of my day. So there's a Nando's right down the street from the campus. Uh, I went there to study with one of my friends. Shout out to you. Um, and so we just got to talking about some stuff, did a little bit of reading, and then uh, went from there. Uh, now, because I forgot the blog, I am on the way to the Balsa event. Um, it is located basically... Um, Somewhere in downtown Baltimore, I don't know the exact address, but we're making a stop there before we head to the um, Orioles game. I didn't really do a lot of video vlogging for the rest of the day because I was, quite frankly, pretty tired. It was a really long week, and uh, I wanted to make sure that I was, you know, not over-exhausting myself, especially since I went out to these events later on in the evening. So, um, I got footage for the rest of the day, but I'm not not a lot of it of me talking too much so please make sure that you watch the footage and enjoy the beautiful scenery of Baltimore
kind of mingle. All right, guys, so I just made it back uh, to the parking garage. It is about 9.30 right now. Just let the O's game. I'm sweating a little bit because it's nice and humid out here. Um, I left my tripod in my friend's car, so I don't have it right now, but uh, that's all right. Um, funny story I'm gonna tell you guys about, about how I almost left my laptop and book bag at the law school because the school itself was locked when we got back from the game, so. We thought it was going to be open, but it wasn't. All right, it's been a long day, but I uh, just made it back from the O's game. Um, I'm in my car right now. Got the AC blasting. <laughs> uh, it was a really fun game. I had a really great day today. Like I said before, today was a really busy day for me, but I pushed through it. We got through. And just like that, we're finished week one of law school. So there we go. Um, I am going to go home right now. I know I said earlier I was gonna to go to the car wash, but I'm literally exhausted. So I'm gonna go home, hop in the shower, unpack, unpack, get my uh, schedule ready for tomorrow because we're back in the books and uh, figure out how I'm gonna carry myself this weekend and then go from there. I know I got a couple things to do. Um, got a funeral service to go to on Saturday and uh, my dad's preaching at a church on Sunday. So I'll probably end up uh, going to that. So I gotta make sure I'm allocating my time wisely. So I have uh, structured everything that I need to do now funny story so i was heading back to the campus with my friend ayana and uh sorry for the shaking because i had to hold my phone because i left my tripod but we were heading back to the campus to go get our books because we put them in our lockers at the law school and typically the law library closes at 12 a.m but since it's the first week of school apparently they closed at eight o'clock so we got there it's nine o'clock our books are in there we have studying to do for the whole entire weekend. So we were trying to figure out how we we're gonna go get our books. I saw one of the campus police officers and I walked over to him. I was like, hey man, like uh, we're first year law students. We have our books in school, the school is locked, like we need them. And he was like, okay, I'm gonna help you guys out. Um, solely in my opinion, I think he helped us out because my younger brother's a state trooper and another brother's a cop. And I told him that and he was like a little bit lenient to do so, which is cool. So. We went in, got our books, which is a lifesaver. Shout out to the officer, I don't know his name, but if you're watching this, shout out to you. Um, and so yeah, I have some content of that. I think I added it before, but check that out. Um, I'm gonna drive home, it's about 20 minutes to get home. Uh, hopefully I get back safe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I got a second win on my Way back home, ended up going to the car wash and to the laundromat just to get some stuff done uh, before the weekend came. And uh, I just ended up going back home and crashing probably like 1 o'clock a.m. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. I'm trying to keep it under 25 minutes long. Day in life videos are always longer. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe and continue to be great.